1,000 years ago, Viking longships would have come ashore right here behind me. Warriors would have been jumping out and they might have had a camp here or gun raiding further inland. And this is exactly the spot we're gonna metal detect today. I can't wait to start detect here. Let's go. This area here would always have made a really good harbor. The Baltic Sea is just there, some 20 meters away. And now we are detecting here on this gently sloping terrain going up towards those hills there that we will hit a little bit later. That's where the soldiers and the Vikings would have had their watchmen guarding the landscape for invaders, foreign forces and stuff. So this area first, then we head up to the hills. Niklas said he had a Viking signal here. Ooh, iron, big iron. I know that they use lots of iron in those long ships. Let's dig it up. Dig it up. It was here, right? Somewhere there. Big piece of iron. Oh, Ooh, beeping in the hole. We're quite close to the shore, so my guess it's some kind of nail that's been stuck to a plank or something that has been floating ashore, but let's see. Ship nail is all I heard. Viking ship nail. Indeed, how did you know? Yeah, comes with experience. I have seen older nails than this, but good discovery. Whatever we're gonna find today, I think the general theme will be nautical related stuff. And man, my imagination is running wild. Wow, good discovery here. It is a blade. I believe it's a razor blade. One of the finest blades I have ever found, actually. You would shave your Viking beard like this, but I'm afraid it's not from the 10th or 11th century, this one, but maybe 100 or 200 years old. What an excellent piece of history. Here, someone was sitting maybe 200 years ago, maybe a peasant, maybe a sailor, maybe a military man, cutting his long Finnish beard. And here I am today holding the same historical object. Man, you gotta love history and the mosquitoes out here. Mmm, very nice. Some historical evidence once again here in the forest. This might look just like a regular button to a lot of viewers, but I think there's some kind of decoration here and it might be military. And it would not surprise me if there's an anchor or three crowns on this one. And that would indicate that sailors have been here. After the Vikings were here, this was the general scene of battle of the wars between the Swedish Empire and the Russian Empire in the 1700s. And the Swedish and Russian fleets might have parked their galleys, their big ships somewhere here. Sailors may be living here for a month or two or a week and then heading off to fight the wars. And in my imagination, this button belonged to one of those sailors. What do you guys think? S such big boulders here. There, oh man, that's a sweet looking place. Yeah. There. Juicy signal. Could be anything. Yeah, it's deep. You Unless don't want a glove for that, mate? No. I've been finding a lot of those sharp bottles. Ah. in my days but Niklas is a real tough Viking that's why he got recruited oh, it's for a the bottle <laughs> Ooh. Ah, it was this you have it there oh man ah it's empty whoa what is this fi Finnish brand Alco oh I have Alco I have found lots of these bottles before usually you find the bottle caps but this is a real Alco old bottle great find you can fill it up with rum yeah and there's some numbers here what does it say a crown and 567 is it a crown I'm not sure 
think good it find. was this metal ring that gave the good signal. Very typical find for a Finnish forest. But more typically you just find the bottle caps. But every now and again you find the whole bottle. Woo! Anything is possible to find in a Finnish forest because Finnish past is full of rich history stretching all the way from the Stone Age, Bronze Age, Iron Age, Viking Age, Medieval Times, Historical Times, Second World War. Oh man, the possibilities are endless here. This is truly my happy place. Okay, stop talking Emil and start detecting. We have to dig to find the finds. I just pulled out something rusty. And, oh, whoa, whoa, I think I know this shape. That is a broken blade, a knife. Impossible to know the age of these things, but might have been dropped by one of the sailors here fighting in the wars. Maybe. It's a nice discovery, military or hunting knife. Yes, this could indeed have been dropped by some sailors from the 1700s, but to get more evidence for that, I would really want to find some coins from that period or some musket balls to prove that the ships really have been here. Niklas thinks that my imagination is not enough evidence, so apparently we have to find some musket balls and stuff. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but he has a point there. <laughs> Might be any age. I got a ship nail over here. A ship nail in the hole. Oh, that's a beautiful piece of history. Ship nail, regular nail. What's the difference really? Might have fallen off a horse carriage or something, but it looks old. It's bent. It reminds me of a ship this way. I call it a Viking ship nail. This forest here looks identical to where my dad found pieces of a Viking Age sword. If you haven't checked out that video already in our library, you should definitely do that after you finish this one. But now we still got Viking discoveries to be made. I can hear the lovely sound of a metal detector going beep, beep, beep somewhere here behind this awesome big boulder. If I would be a Viking or any rich man throughout the age, I would his off to the next treasure. I guess it was just trash. But I would hide the treasure right there. Easy spot to remember. As usual, I would like to remind you that for every like this video gets, we will donate one cent to a local animal shelter. So be sure to press that like button not only to support the true Vikings, but also the kiddies and dogsters. Thank you guys. We have a huge signal here. And by we, Emil means I have a huge signal. He has a huge signal. <laughs> Listen the, to the sound of it's that. It's not the best signal for today, but it's the biggest one. We're so deep in the forest, so it's, I don't know, maybe an axe or some forest. Did you just say Viking axe? <laughs> I think he just said Viking axe. Yes, that's Viking what axe I did. In the hole. Ooh. Yeah, it's big. That's a stone. I heard something, a stone. And it just goes deeper and deeper. Oh, there it is. Something very deep. Well, you have it there? Yeah. Oh man, that is exciting. Or is it a... Could be centuries old Mine? item you're holding in your hand. Oh yeah. Oh, it's big. What <laughs> in the world? Oh. It's a cowbell, a huge one. That must be the most massive. <laughs> cow <laughs> that it belongs to. <laughs> That's the biggest cow bell I ever found. See, here in Finland we have quite enormous cows. <laughs> Maybe even mammoths walking around, mammoth cows. <laughs> and it works! Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> no, did, that? did not expect that one. Wow, what a find. Yeah. How well do you think that is? Mm. 200 maybe? 100? 
Awesome discoveries, well done. Thank you. High five. I'm not fully convinced that we made it all the way to the Viking Age today, but I'm very happy about today's historical finds. See you guys in next week's video and thank you for watching. Take care.